My name is Renee Ngamal. I am a life coach and a business strategist. I'm an NLP trainer, and I am probably best known uh, voice-wise for being one of the voices on Capital FM's Capital in the Morning with Renee and McBull. So the Merck More Than a Mother campaign, it's a corporate that is highlighting something which we all know but do not address, which is what is the value of a woman? Women are successful, they are powerful, they bring to a society a soft side that is inclusive, that is generous, that sees the world as it could be. But that is not enough. They are still nothing if they don't have children. This is the last bastion of mental slavery, how we define women. And I'm glad to be part of something where we're basing the worth of a woman on more than one organ in her body. That you would have a people who would eject someone from their community and from their family because they are unable to produce a child, yet they are unable to see the value of the human being. And I think that's what the story is, that with a little bit of intervention, and this intervention having come from Merck, that you transform a singular story into this multifaceted, beautiful, thriving, happy, impacting, um, contributing human being. Media allows people to make informed choices based on the facts that it reflects back to the society and the community that creates those facts and the events. And I think that's why it's vital that media be at the forefront of these conversations, but also that media check itself because it is part of the same society. Are we projecting one story, but in our individual lives or in our communities where we do hold positions, are we pushing a different agenda? Infertile women are ostracized women. And when you tell the story of a paria, you tell the story of the values of a society. When we award journalists for telling that story, we say to them, go to those places where no one will go and tell those stories that nobody told, so that those people who could never have been heard have a voice. And that's the reason why I think they, these journalists should be celebrated, promoted, rewarded, encouraged, feted. For me, Having gone through my own uh, personal journey to finally have children, I know what it can be like to not. And I am really aware of the privilege to a great extent. I'm also aware that what is considered a happy ending you know, when you finally have the children, it will be a happy ending. Would still have been a happy ending had it turned the other way. I accepted to be a judge because like the worker on a famous bridge who will never be known, except perhaps in the history of their own family, I would like to be one of, maybe not the architects, but the stonemasons in transforming the story of a beautiful people in a beautiful continent to be an inclusive one and to be a rich one. To celebrate the telling of those stories encourages more of the telling. And it also brings about this opportunity for those who are infertile but have not been able to tell their own story or for those who are part of the ostracizing to look at themselves and ask actually is this the only way and perhaps to make a different choice and i will have been a stonemason in that famous bridge who plugged in three stones and one screw and did my bit i think that's that's well worth doing I think so. I'm very privileged to hold a platform on radio and in the media that allows me to be able to 
invite people to come in and tell that story. And I have done so a number of times into the studio. And I see the impact that it has, even on social media feedback. I'm also very privileged to sit on a continental platform for women who are in media. And part of the stories that we tell are these stories. Stories of infertility, uh, stories of being different, stories of being ostracized, but also stories of success beyond a singular label. Stories such as the ones that we're telling right now and the ones that we are awarding right now. They can hear that their story, though unique, is not the only one. That they are not abnormal. Or if they are, we are many who are. And that we're more than mothers. Infertility is the last bastion of discrimination. And it's the lowest one. Because we're discriminating and then acting as though it is normal, justifying it in culture, in society, in religion, and saying it's okay for us to treat some human beings as though they are lesser beings because they are not like us. I think this, this message for me on a personal level, this is the most powerful message. And, and being part of this campaign, More Than a Mother, is about standing up and saying, I will not be part of this discrimination. I would not discriminate for race, for ethnicity. Do not expect me to discriminate on account of reproduction.